Andrina Brogdon was born for the stage. Yes, I've always kind of been involved in music. Whether she's performing at home. Then I was always singing with my family. In talent shows. Or as Cinderella. And I started being in like musicals and stuff. She always dreamed of one stage in particular. American Idol has always kind of been you know, off in the distance that maybe I would like to do that one day. The distance? Only 400 miles to Omaha, Nebraska, where she tried out for the show's 13th season. When I walked into the judges' room, I was actually really nervous. I thought I would be like speechless and I'd be like, uh, but I didn't, which was good. Standing in the light of your halo, I got my angel now. It's like surreal, like I didn't feel like it was real. Every rule I had you breaking, hmm. it's the risk. You have a really beautiful voice, really beautiful. And then Harry's like, way better than average, but not strong enough for American Idol. And at that point in my head, I'm like, <laughs> I'm not going through. I disagree with Harry. <laughs> I got the feeling you're going to rise to the occasion. Thank gosh. Congratulations. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> see you in Hollywood, baby. I'm going to see you later. Kind of the college experience prepared me for Hollywood Week because you did not sleep during Hollywood Week. It was go, go, go. You know, college helped me that way too. I mean, I had early morning classes. Oh. The judges weren't through with Andrina. She breezed through group auditions to make it to the top 77. Like, and while she can't say how Hollywood Week ended, she had one message to the fans watching. Vote for me. <laughs> if I make it on the show, vote for me. <laughs> <laughs>